All right, in this video, we're going to cover how to find traffic from social media in Google Analytics 4. You probably know that in Universal Analytics, they have the reports from a couple default reports in the left navigation. So you could click on acquisitions, all traffic, channels, and drill down into social traffic right there. Or you could click on social and then look at overview or network referrals to see your social media traffic. But in GA4, it's not that easy. All the social media traffic is actually rolled up into the traffic from referrals. So if you click on traffic acquisition and then expand to 50, this is from the GA demo account from their Google merchandise store. So we're in this traffic acquisition report and if we scroll down to the bottom, near the bottom of these 50 rows here, we'll see that we have traffic from Facebook and then t.co. You might know that's actually Twitter. So those are the sources, but then the medium here is referral. So if you want a report that only shows you the social media traffic, you have to do one of either two things, add an audience comparison or create a, an explore report so that you can see the data that you want. First, we're going to create an audience comparison. In the universal analytics realm, this would be known as a segment. So scroll up to the top, Click on Add Comparison, and for the dimension, we're going to type Source. Go down and select Session Source, and we can select some of the values that are presented. So in this technique, in this method, you have to type in all the ones that you want, all the values that you want to include in your report. So we'll type in Facebook, select all of those, and then we'll type in Instagram. And let's go to Pinterest, include those, see if there are any for Twitter. No, let's, let's choose Let's look for t.co. LinkedIn and any other social media networks that you want to include in there. Click on OK and click Apply. So you can, what you can do is you can either keep it and compare it to some of the other audiences or you can remove any others and the report will update to just show you the social media traffic and you can see all of the users from each of the social networks the number of sessions engaged sessions average engagement time and other metrics like that the thing with these audience comparisons is that they're only good for this momentary type of analysis where you just want to explore the data quickly. You know, if you just think of something, something pops up in your head that you want to look into, investigate, you're not able to save these comparisons. So you'll notice that if you look at the name here, you can see it just gives you the conditions where session source includes all of these values. So you can't actually name this comparison. 
If you remove these conditions for this report, for this view, it goes back to the default all users. And if you click on add comparison again, you'll see that you have to start over and input the conditions again. So the other option is to create an explore report. So if you go to left navigation, click on explore, and then you can click on free form to create a new report. For the exploration name, we can call it social media report. And in this report, for the dimensions, what we'll do is add a dimension for source. Check that off, click on apply, and move that over to the rows. We'll actually replace the existing city dimension in there. And then we'll go down. Right now, we have columns for device category. So that's desktop, mobile, and tablet. Then we can go down here and click on filters, add one for source, select the match type to be matches regex. And what we'll do is add this regex. So this regex looks for top level domains and subdomains for each of these values for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, and t.co. And if there are any other dom domains, any other social networks that you want to add, you can include those in this second set right here, the second set of brackets. And once you add all the networks that you want to include, click on apply and the report will update and you can see all of the totals, all of the social networks that are bringing traffic to your web property, the number of active users for each in this time frame, And you can name this tab as well. You can change it to social media traffic by device. And that's what we'll call it, social media traffic report. Change the time frame if you want. You can add comparisons. Click apply. And then just explore your data in different ways like that. You can also add a couple more tabs to include some visualizations. So if you go to your tab and click on this drop down, select duplicate. And for this tab, we'll change it to a donut chart. So here we can see the percentages of traffic by different social networks, different domains. We can add another chart. Actually, we'll change this to social media traffic by domain or network. And then let's duplicate this one. And this time we'll choose line chart. Now, if you have a lot of domains that you've included in your regex, this can get pretty messy, but this can also help you see different trends and where or when traffic might have spiked and you can find out what those spikes were attributed to. So we can change the name of this tab to social media traffic over time. And let's duplicate this one, change it to a bar chart. 
So you can see this kind of comparison. If you prefer this to a table, and we can name rename this social media traffic by network bar chart. You can go back and rename this donut chart tab to include that as well. And then the last tab, we can duplicate that and turn that into a map, a geo map. So we can see what locations are sending the most social media traffic. So if you go back to the explore main page in GA4, you'll see your report here. You can just click into it and it'll give you all the tabs that you created previously. So that's how you create a social media traffic report in GA4. You can check out some of the other videos on this channel to see how to create various reports in GA4 and Universal Analytics GA reporting, as well as reporting in Data Studio. If you found this useful, please like, subscribe, and comment. And we'll see you in the next episode.